It's your boy DJ Cree with another video. In the case of King Von's murder, Lil Tim, the murder suspect, all charges have been dropped against Lil Tim. Now, this actually comes as no surprise considering this happened in the South, aka Georgia, where self defense is a legal precedent for killing somebody and the way things went down that night you know it's hard to argue that it wasn't self-defense because it was like maybe six seven guys against who knows 10 20 guys and you know the thing is these guys are young um street guys about the street life and sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. And it, it's unfortunate that, you know, this street beef ends up, you know, people being killed, people being hurt, people being shot. Now, one of the rumors is that he's being acquitted because the cops actually had something to do with... Um, the murder of King Von and, and I guess uh, a couple of other guys in the crew got shot or killed um, because there was so much going on that it, bullets just was flying everywhere. You know, well, I mean, DJ Academics really breaks things down. If y'all want to check out DJ Academics page, um, I'm just reporting just the basic premise, the basic things that uh went on but at the end of the day you know self-defense is one of those things in the south you have to be careful of i know a lot of uh up north dudes when y'all come down here just know a lot of times we have weapons down here and if you initiate something or threaten somebody's life we have a right to defend ourselves and i think that's the only reason why the gang shit in the South is harder to do and harder to maintain is because of the rules. You literally can murder people if people try you and you get to walk free. You know, so this is definitely one of those things where I think people should take note and, and again that's probably why gang violence isn't as prevalent in the south as it is in other cities and other places because we have access to to firearms and our laws are, are look slightly different you know but I, I just think overall that you know the judge or you know the prosecutors and everything they they looked at the evidence i mean there's a lot of video surveillance again dj academics does that thoroughly i'm not doing that thoroughly here um, i'm just gonna give you a brief overview um but there's a lot of video footage there's a lot of evidence that is actually in Lil tim's favor now i'm not saying i'm in in favor of it but there is a lot of evidence from a judicial standpoint they can't even if he went to trial i don't think none of that would have stuck simply because they were outnumbered simply because everybody else had guns also and they were already getting beat up well quando rundle was getting beat up so it, it just goes to show you you know you never know um, how things are going to turn out and who's going to be the one that pulls the trigger but I will say this man if you're in the south be careful you know guns are definitely legal You, we can carry them and we can shoot them you know but you know again nobody deserves to, to have their life taken but you can't beat up people you can't antagonize people you can't do things like that 
here in the South. And y'all have to learn these lessons one way or the other. And I hate for anybody else to come here and do those type of things and not expecting the worst. King's Von family actually spoke out and they weren't ha too happy with the, you know, with the charges being dropped. Now, I will say this, you know, if anytime, you know, a family member of yours get killed, you you know, you're going to you're going to speak out. You're going to be angry about it. Um, Y'all check this out and I'll come back with a little bit more commentary. All everybody can get sued point, on this motherfucker. Everybody can get y'all ass sued. And motherfuckers finna get started, put on blast, all type of shit. So crazy. We just talked about this shit a week ago. We just talked about it a week ago. Now this shit really happening. Like that's what I'm saying. This bitch ass bodyguard. Where the fuck is it? Where's his Instagram? It's gone. His name was Hannibal. Let me see. It was some <laughs> Hannibal. Look on Vaughn page. Like go through his followers. Let's get so that bitch got some explaining to do. I don't get no fuck no more. You got some explaining to do. Not only that, nobody knew what the fuck was going on. We all woke up to this lame ass shit. Like charges drop. Okay, we know they was gonna use the fact. Oh, Vaughn, he's a notorious gang member. He did this. He did that. So, yeah. as I said, man, a crazy situation, man. And you know, little Tim skated on this one man you know but what do y'all think should Lil Tam have been charged for murder or do you think it was justified um like comment and subscribe man make sure y'all hit me man let me know what's going on yeah